Okay, so the next item is kind of like a secret that I've held on to, but I'm going to share it with you guys. I'm sure I will never find them again. <laughs> These are drapery rings. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Karen, Lavender Clothesline. I sell on eBay, uh, Facebook Marketplace, and offer up. I make a full-time living that way, and I started out by selling clothing primarily, and now pretty much sell everything. The only things I don't sell are cars, very large furniture, and anything illegal. Besides that, anything goes. So today's haul is just going to be a mishmash of everything that just poured into my dining room. I do this out of my house and it's going to be a little bit crazy, a little scattered. So just bear with me and we'll see what I found. I haven't detagged anything as usual. I haven't comped anything. I just throw in my cart uh, pretty much what I like to find. So let's get started and we'll see what I have. So today's haul, we're going to start off with this big giant hanging chandelier. This is like a fluted edge. I'm not quite sure what I'll call this. Maybe a pie edge, pie, pie plate edge. No idea. Um, metal lamp. I almost think it's from Ikea, but the plug has been replaced and it looks vintage to me. The whole wiring system looks vintage. I don't see any dates on it or marking. But I thought this was super cool. It's quite large, so there's always that. You know me, shipping large items that, you know, take a ton of packing material. But I thought this was so wonderful. I love this style. I always have the whole story in my head of who needs this. Yeah, so this was great. I believe I paid $2.97 for this lamp. So how could you pass it up, right? Thought this was really good. Okay, I'm just going to put this to the side and I'll be right back. Okay. The next item I found right before that lamp, I think I was in the mood to just be brave and pick up everything crazy, crazier than normal, and was this painting. I thought this is spectacular. The colors are great. The first thing I always do is look, let me see if I can peel this off, put that right there, is look at the back to see what the canvas looks like. This looks like a cheap reproduction. If you can see, the canvas is stapled to very cheap, soft pine. So I'm strictly going on the aesthetic of this, not the quality. But I thought this was great. I could see this hanging in somebody's bedroom or... I just loved it. I thought it was great. So uh, the full price was $13 and it was half off, so it was $6.50. So I thought that was a great find. Okay, switching gears all together. Ready for this find? A pig on wheels. Who doesn't love a pig on wheels? I thought this is great. I will use farmhouse chic, country, primitive, all of those keywords for this guy. The wheels go around, so that's great. And the wheels are made of like iron or some kind of heavy metal, so it's quality, it's not plastic. And I just thought he was super cute. Look at that face. Let me see what the marking is on the bottom. There is a stamp, let me see if I can see this. What does that say? Spring House Collection. 1988. So I know nothing about Springhouse Collection, but um, I think he's made of rosin, like a, like a casted plastic. And what did I pay for him? Oh, $7.99, so he was $4. The next item up I picked up was this little guy. This is one of the dwarfs. I'm thinking he's happy. Is there a happy dwarf? <laughs> I don't know my dwarfs. And this is Walt Disney Products made in Japan. So a vintage uh, Walt Disney. I did not comp him. I just thought maybe somebody's collecting all the little dwarfs. I always have the whole picture in my head. Almost everything I pick up, I've got the scenario, I've got the story. It's probably never true, but that's what I like to pick up. I like to have that story in my head of who needs him. So um, I have no idea what he's worth. I don't imagine very much. The next item I'm gonna show is this bowl. It's a stoneware bowl. And I thought the colors were really pretty. And when I went to turn it over, it had a name I'd never heard of, and I'm not going to pronounce this name. See if the camera will show this. T-I-T-I-C-A-C-A. -C -A. Not even saying that word out loud. I did throw this into a comp, and I did not find this name at all. So I'm not sure if that's the pattern name or if that's the brand. It doesn't say where it's made, like USA or Japan or 
So I don't think this is vintage, but if anybody has any knowledge about this company or this print, I'd love to hear what it is. I'm telling you, chandeliers to kitty cats. <laughs> Look at this fun statue. This is a votive holder. I normally don't do this type of product, but I don't know. I've been watching everybody else's videos, so sometimes I do like to pick up things that are a little bit different for me just to keep myself entertained because doing this for a living and listing as much as I do, it can get really boring and really like stale. So sometimes I purposely pick up things that I normally don't pick up, even if it's not going to be a high profit, but just to try different things, just to have something different to look at. And this is put out by, who puts this out? Lang Candles, L-A-N-G. And I thought this was cute. And the reason I picked it up, there was no chips. If these ears were chipped or whatever, I would have never picked this up. But um, yeah, I'll throw something out there like this. And now on to glassware, which I always tell myself I'm not gonna pick up glassware, and we know that story, I don't listen to myself. This is a decanter, it's a, a yellow. I picked it up for the color. So there are no markings on this. Uh-oh, sounds like there's a little rattle in there. Let's see if we can see what's in there. It is a little stone, it looks like. Yeah, it looks like a little chip from something else, just a little turquoise chip. Good thing I didn't buy anything turquoise. <laughs> We're good. So just a little decanter for the bar. I thought that was pretty. Put the stopper in. The next item I picked up was this decanter. This is gorgeous. I love this style. Whether you keep a bar at home or not, I thought this would be beautiful with a colored liquid in it on a shelf to really show this off. This has like a teardrop, very heavy stopper, and it is etched with a name. So it says Indianapolis Speedway, somebody and somebody, Tony somebody, let's see if it says it down here. Tony Stewart and Michael Schumacher. U.S. Grand Prix 2005. So maybe these were given out to participants or second place winners. I hope this isn't the grand prize. That would be really bad. You spend all those tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars and you get a glass decanter. Um, but yeah, I thought this was pretty cool. The hole goes through, it's like a donut shape. So, um, so I picked this up and what did I pay for this? The glassware there is very inexpensive. I'm gonna say I wouldn't have paid more than $2 for this. Put that gently down so I don't break that. Next up, I picked up this sugar bowl. Some days I'm over China, some days I pick it up if it's really pretty. Um, I do have quite a bit of it and it does sell. It's a slower seller because you're waiting for that buyer with that pattern usually. Most people aren't gonna jump onto eBay and start a set by buying this one odd piece. But I don't know that that happens. Um, and this is Noritake. So not a high end return. I'm guessing I'm gonna get maybe 12 to $15 for this, and I paid $2 for this, I believe. Yes, okay. The next item was something very odd I had never seen. I didn't know what it was. I didn't know if it was a reprint, produced for mass market, or what these were. These are blueprints of famous houses. So this one is, Jerry Seinfeld and Cosmo Kramer. And it is just a framed blueprint of their residence. And I have three of these. Now, if you look on the back, there is a sticker and it does look like it's been mass produced, but I wasn't sure. Phase two. So I'm guessing this is just produced for mass market. I don't know if this would have been Ikea, but I have three of these. I have that one I just read to you. Let's see if I can do this. The next one is, is this upside down? Who is this? March and Homer Simpson. <laughs> so that one. And the third one is Grace Appler and Will Truman. Was there a Truman show? I don't watch a lot of TV, so I'm not even sure who these are. Um, I will comp these, but I'm guessing most likely this is mass marketed, but I thought somebody might want them. And what did I pay for these? I believe I paid a dollar a piece, a dollar or two dollars each. Okay, the next item I'm going to show, bear with me, I'm coming, is this ceiling chandelier. This is gorgeous, I love this. This is modern, it's not vintage. 
It's mismarketed. You can tell by how inexpensive this ceiling plate is. Let's see if it says what year I'm looking. I don't see the year marked on it, but I'm guessing this is definitely modern, but I thought this was good enough. This is slab glass when you see this glass here, and it's Tiffany style, and this was $7. So, um, and it did, somebody was conscientious enough to, to twist tie baggy the chain. There's chains that come down from these loops here. But no cracks, no chips, just beautiful. All in gold and like a garnet red, very pretty. So I said yes to this for $7. The next item I'm gonna talk about is this wood urn, jar, bowl, thing. This is marquetry. This is all separate pieces of wood. I don't know if I have the top matched up correctly. It doesn't look like it. But somebody made this, guys. It, this just amazes me. Let me see if I can do this. Put the top down. That is all hand-done pieces of wood formed together. I don't even know how that happens. And it has the person's signature on the back, on the bottom, rather. S.W. Martin, 2004, Ephrata, Pennsylvania. So that's only about 40 minutes from where I am. So I thought this was great. I'm not gonna bother matching it up. Just make sure that is on there. Yeah, I thought this was phenomenal. Very unique. It does have an issue. It is missing the very point of the top, if you can see that. Can you see that? So I paid let me just remember what I paid for this. I paid $2.97 for this, and it was half, no, this was not half price, so this was $3 that I paid. Okay, so the next item is kind of like a secret that I've held on to, but I'm gonna share it with you guys. I'm sure I will never find them again. <laughs> These are drapery rings. I'm gonna pull one out of the bag so you can fully see what I'm talking about. Let me open this bag. See these rings here with this little eye hook? These bring very good money when you have quite a few of them. They come in wood. So the vintage ones are better than the modern ones, the ones that are stained and really in nice shape. They're very smooth. These are, I think these are metal. So these are more contemporary. But if you find the wood ones of these, and a lot of people, when they donate them, it's a, it's a big amount of them. They have heavy drapery hanging from it. These bring very good money. I had a lot of gonna say 40 of them or 50 of them and I got over a hundred dollars for these and I paid $2.97 again just like recently when I talked about the draw pulls this is something that is easy to list you usually find a big supply of them and they bring um, they bring very good money and they're easy to store they're small so sharing my secret with you if you find drapery rings you're gonna to want to comp that and take a look at that Okay, I'm gonna show this bag because I'm keeping it real. I said, I really don't pick up Vera Bradley. And then the very next time I go to the thrift store, boom, in my cart, what did I pay for this guy? $5, I don't know. I usually don't do Vera Bradley, but a big bin of it came out and most of it had wear on the handles and it was just, looked like it had been through the washing machine a couple times, no. But this is in really beautiful condition and I liked the bright colors and Probably won't get much for it, but um, so, yep, I go against my own advice sometimes and pick up what I say I don't, so there's that. The next item is a very large Pottery Barn quilt. This is a queen size quilt. I believe it's queen size. It's either full or queen. Let me check for you. Let me see what this text says, because I could be, I could be mistaken. Let's see what this says. Oh, it's a full, size full. So this is a full quilt and uh, in great shape. So you know me, always yes to Pottery Barn. The last item is not really a hard good, but as usual, it's my, my haul, so <laughs> there's that, is a scuba suit. Now, I'm in the middle of Pennsylvania, so I'm not quite sure how a scuba suit made it to Pennsylvania. Unless somebody's going in lakes, I guess that could be, right? Do people even scuba dive in lakes? <laughs> I don't think so. This is a zoot suit. Let me stand back. It's a men's. I didn't even look at the size yet, but it seemed to be in very good shape. And I'm expecting about the $70, $75 mark for this. And what did I pay for this? I believe I paid $4.97. 
So that's my quick haul for today. And as usual, thank you for following. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe and like. And stay tuned for the last installment of uh, Crazy High Profit Thrift Finds. Thanks so much for watching, guys. This was going to be my last installation of a series I started called Crazy High Profit Thrift Finds. But so many of you have messaged me asking me to continue with this series. So as long as I can make it crazy high profit, I'll be glad to keep doing this series and show you what I've found. June has been a little bit slow, but it is picking up. So that's good. June is always my slow month. But let's get started and I'll show you what I've found and what it's sold for. So this first evening suit was Frank Agostino. I didn't know this name, but right away I saw the ostrich feather detail. Just gorgeous. Uh, I did have to sit on this for a while. I had this set in my inventory, I'm gonna say for almost two years. It was packed, fully packed in airtight bags, so it was fine. And this sold for $150 and I paid $6.95 for this. The next item is a Stetson hat. I always look at Stetson. I especially like when I find the hemp hats. These hats uh, have a tendency to bring a higher return and this one sold for $94.99. I believe I paid $4.97 for this. This next picture uh, most of you have seen. This is the rest of the military transmitters that I picked up at a, a yard sale and I paid $5 for the full set. I got $200 for the first part of it and $300 for a total of $500 on a $5 investment. The next item is flatware. Uh, I learned about flatware to pick it up and really pay attention to it from Ann Eckhart, so thank you, Ann. This was 77 pieces and I got $90.92, I paid $6.97. The next item is ignored by a lot of thrifters, I feel. This is a spoon holder. It's a vintage one. I have a tendency to pick these up if there's something nice about the design. This one had a carved uh, leaf pattern and it did hold 64 spoons, so it was a large one. Um, I paid $4.97 for this and it sold for $62.50. This next item was really bright and bold and beautiful. It's Nordic House. It's a waxed cotton uh, raincoat, and it also came with a hat, $71.35, and I paid $6.97 for this. The next item I'd never heard of this brand, Caroline Rose. I'm not quite sure who Caroline is, but thanks, Caroline. Uh, this is an evening cocktail jacket. A lot of times if an item can be worn to work, and then out for the evening. I use the keywords career to evening or career to cocktails. Um, this sold for $69.06 and I paid $4.97. The next item is a lamp that had a duck pattern on it. This was vintage and this was given to me for free. I sold it $136.08. It did take a little bit extra time to pack but the buyer paid shipping. And uh, yeah, so this was free, free is always good. The next item is a clarinet. I knew to pick up vintage instruments, but I have no idea how to play an instrument like this. So I did um, explain that this was untested. It brought $104.25 and I paid $10 for it. This next item is a brand I almost always pick up. This is Trip. Trip makes a lot of um, like punk or rave goth type clothing. These uh, shorts zip off from the rest of the pant leg, so it's convertible. And this brought $78.32. They were new, and I paid $4.95. The next item is Fry. We all know Fry. These boots were in very poor shape, but I used the Martin's Balsam um, Cream on them, which really did a great job with them. And I did put that they were well-worn and hobo chic is a term that I like to use, $69.65 and I paid $6.97. The next item, as you know, is one of my favorite brands, Eileen Fisher. This is a felted wool jacket or a boiled wool jacket, $116.38 and I paid $4.97. This next item is something that I've just recently started picking up. I used to kind of ignore the heavy coats, 
But then I realized I was really leaving a lot of money on the table. So I picked up this Persian lamb's wool coat and used all of those keywords, which a couple of those, Caracol, I think we said, I've learned on Instagram. And this coat brought $132.65 and I paid $9.95. This name is a name I love to find, get very excited. This is Filson. And I just recently posted on Instagram that I sold a Filson uh, shirt for, I believe I got 40, 40 plus dollars for that. This brought $167.84 for a used jacket, guys. That's just amazing to me. I paid $4.95. This next item is another vintage jacket when I started picking up coats and jackets. This is a dyed lamb coat, $112.95, and I paid $6.97. This next item was really cool. I knew nothing about this. I saw it uh, sitting on the Goodwill shelf. It is a kit that was produced. I don't know what year this was produced. It's vintage, where the buyer would buy a kit and then buy all the little charms to put on the tree and under the tree. So the kit was um, finished. This was a finished project. And I got $69.30. And the buyer left me amazing feedback. So great find on this. This is yardage of material again. I like to pick up yardage of material. The minute I saw this material, I knew that this was nice quality. Um, it was a Moroccan damask, $89.99 for this is a little over two yards and I paid two dollars and fifty cents. The next item is Prada and I get nervous selling any kind of high-end name but these were vintage and I looked at the label, I looked at the workmanship on the shoe and even though the shoe was vintage it was still beautiful even though it was well worn. A hundred and two dollars and ninety-five cents and I paid seven ninety-seven. The next item was something I didn't know about. I just went by that it had a cool fox on the toe. The fox was embroidered. This is Peel & Company uh, Brooks Brothers. This is vintage Brooks Brothers. Peel & Company was a shoe company that I believe Brooks Brothers bought out and kept the name because Peel & Company was so affiliated with quality. I don't think that Peel & Company and, the, and Brooks Brothers, those two names, are on any of the United States items. I think this is only the items made in England. I could be wrong about that. These are men's pre-owned used slippers, $189.50. I paid $4.97. The next item got a lot of attention on Instagram. We'll leave that comment there. These are men's leather shorts, zip-up shorts, $129.99, and I paid $6.97. The next item is the Eleni Elias gowns. Um, I picked up this gown along with 10 other gowns. This was a donation by a bridal store that was going out of business. They donated their gowns. When I came to the thrift store, there were 11 gowns. I bought all 11 of them at $20 a piece. This sold for $186. The next item is Adrienne Landau, I think we said. This is rabbit fur, which, <laughs> Rabbit fur is not really a high-end fur. Usually rabbit fur is equated with jackets, you know, that are a little bit more economy priced. But when I saw this, I thought this was really well done. The print of the cheetah was beautiful. $159.50 I asked. I got it. I paid $4.97. This next pair of boots are Pierre Cardin. Um, these are made in Italy. I asked $73.14 and got it. I paid $6.97. The next item, I didn't know this brand, I see Connie K. I don't know that this brings that kind of money. I've never found this name again, but I thought the print and the quality of this was beautiful. It was like a kimono jacket, $79.50 and I paid $4.97. This is a name you want to remember if you don't already know it. This is Dale of Norway. Dale of Norway makes beautiful sweaters. I don't know if they make anything else. The only items I've found of Dale of Norway are the sweaters, the ski sweaters. I uh, went into Goodwill late one night. I was with my daughter and we were looking for something totally different, but of course I have to look at the racks. And there were two brand new Dale of Norway sweaters sitting there like a gift. They were $4.97 each. I bought both and this one brought $165.77 and the other one brought around the same price, sold very quickly. 
This next item is a Disney um, Adidas collab. This was for the movie Tron. I believe it was the movie Tron, and I don't go to the movies a lot, so um, I think I remember that in research. $105 I asked, and I got it. $4.97 I paid. This next item is a vintage mid-century modern fireplace uh, tool set, and uh, $150. This thing weighed a ton, but I did ship it. It got there successfully. The buyer was thrilled. I paid $6.97. This next item is something that I knew a lot about. This is the TRX suspension of fitness straps. It's a home, or this is in Studio 2, training system. $89.50, and I paid $2.97 for this. This next handbag was Orla Kylie. I, wasn't, I didn't know Orla Kylie, but the first thing I did was feel the material. It's almost like a coated canvas, I think this is considered. $119.50. This was pre-owned and I paid $2.97. This last item I'll talk about, I could tell this was something right away. This was gorgeous. Edward Wall. This is made in Wisconsin and it is a round wood tray. It was only 15 and a half inches across. It's signed on the bottom so you'll know it's Edward Wall. When I Googled him, I saw his items just stunningly gorgeous. He's more like an artist rather than, you know, um, a bowl maker. $145 and I paid $2.97. So that ends this series of the next group of crazy high profit thrift finds. Thank you so much for watching and go out and get what's yours. Mm -hmm.